portal news. We always talk about uh, transfer portal news. Jermaine Burton, the uh, the big wide receiver out of Georgia, has announced he's going to Alabama. A lot of people thought that he might be a package deal with JT Daniels. That does not appear to be the case. It looks like JT Daniels might be headed back over to the West Coast. Um, Why would JT Daniels go to Alabama? Like who? Thought no, he that? he. I don't think anybody did think that. I think they thought that Burton was going to go like wherever JT Daniels package goes. deal to like. To you know, North Ole Carolina Miss or, something or like that. wherever, because okay. old, yeah. Lane Kiffin went to Athens to talk to both of them to try and convince them to go. You know, I apparently you. they've got a really good connection, and you know, it is what it is. But because Burton has already announced he's going to Alabama, uh, did that in the middle of the playoff games today uh, or on Sunday. You know, it, it kind of changed things up. Uh, no real updates on Jackson Dart as of right now, although yeah, there is. He he. Posted on Twitter yesterday that he was committing to Ole Miss. So that was not a commitment post. That was a, uh, hey, what do you guys think about this post? He did the exact same thing for Oklahoma the day really? before. Yeah. Yeah. It's, That's pretty lame. Yeah, he. It, it's him, like, post, like wearing all of the Ole Miss gear and, like, all the Yeah, that's why I thought stuff. it was a commitment yeah. post. Now, he, he did the same thing for uh, for Oklahoma uh, before that. So it's he he's feeling this thing out. I'm looking at his Twitter page right now. Yeah, no, no commitments. Uh, Hotty toddy the move, and then the tweet right before that said you with the same uh, exclamation mark and, and question mark. You know, so it's he's he's feeling it out. He's going to see which way he wants to go. I, it, all signs seem to point to Ole Miss. Uh, he would step in almost immediately as the starter. You know, I would imagine that's the way that that goes. And the Caleb Williams I, stuff. Uh, I oh, guess go ahead. I didn't. I guess I didn't acknowledge the Oklahoma thing at all because once Oklahoma got Gabriel, I just assumed that. That's over. Like, he's Oklahoma, not going there. Oklahoma is pushing this as Gabriel has one season, and he's coming off a year where he was injured. So, you know, basically competition. Like, they're they're promoting competition. And Caleb Williams has not, you know, said that he's not coming back to Oklahoma, but I think everybody pretty much assumes that. Yeah. He ain't going to Oklahoma. Uh, Caleb Williams, let's talk about that one right quick to, to close out the transfer part. He is... Basically, the way that this works is he wanted to be in classes for the spring semester. I think any one of these schools that is still after him is going to find a way to get him into classes and whatnot, regardless of when he decides. Like, That's I don't right. think it's going to matter, right? Because to go well, through spring practice, you got to be enrolled. to a state school. Oh, yeah. To, to get him into spring practice, he has to be enrolled. That's like an NCAA rule. But I think anybody's going to be able to figure out, hey, we'll just we'll find a way to, you know, work him through it, whatever. He's not enrolled anywhere as of right now. And, you know, we'll see. They're saying this could go as deep as March before he announces. And I don't know that I necessarily blame him because this is setting him up for whatever the next step is. I still like your idea on a and I, I still, like, I know everybody's pointing to USC, but like you said, the further away this gets from his visit to L.A., I don't know that that is a shoe in. So, an A&M would not be a bad, bad landing spot. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.